Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a video, but uh, I'm gonna do another knife video. I've been finding these old butcher knives pretty regularly now, and uh, I really like fixing them up, fixing them up and stuff. So I wanted to show you the new one I bought. It cost me about let me see what was it? I think 14 bucks, and I uh, actually got this on an online auction. It uh, it's a it's a nice old three quarter tang butcher knife, and uh, it's got it's got two steel pins, and then it's got a brass pin with a steel pin in between in the middle of it. So it's three pins, and as you can see, it's three quarter tang. And uh, really, I don't really need to do anything with this other than give it a good sharpening, and I'm going to sand this handle down and give it a new coat of linseed oil. Other than that, that this thing's done. And it's got this this nice grip on it, and boy, does that feel nice! It feels nice in your hand. I think I'm gonna like this one. But uh, anyways, I'll go over sanding the handle down and putting a new coat of linseed oil on it, and of course I'll go over, do a quick go over on the sharpening thing too up for it, and then. Uh, I'm going to make a sheath for this one too, but I'm not going to do that on camera because everybody can make a sheath and you can do it in your own design, so it's not really that big of a deal. But uh, anyways, and I've done a sheath before, so um, if you want to learn how to make a sheath, you can go back to my past videos. But anyways, I wanted to show this off and uh, we will uh, get started on working on this one here in a few minutes. Okay. Oh, and by the way, guys, um, this is a uh, J.A. Henkel butcher knife from S Solinger, G I don't know if I pronounced that right, Solinger, I think Germany, and then it's got uh, Z. Willings' work on it, too, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see that on there or not, probably not, but anyways, it's, it's right there, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a brand name butcher knife. So uh, I just wanted to uh, show you, it's high carbon steel by the way, I took it and I uh, got a piece of flint out to see what kind of sparks it would throw and boy does this thing throw some nice sparks too. So, And it also has a good 90 degree spine on it which is great for the ferro rods. So uh, okay let's uh, get to work on this thing and uh, see what we can do. Okay guys so. I figured on this new butcher knife, the first thing we'd do is uh, go ahead and sand this handle down because if you look real close, it's got a little crack here. Not really a crack, but a chip out of it. And it's just worn a little bit. So we'll give it a good sanding and uh, see what it looks like. And when I sand in the handle, I just, you know, no big deal. I just get a heavier grade sandpaper and I keep working my way down until I get to, uh, I usually. This is, uh, let's see, 60 grit. I'll probably work down to like 400 grit and we'll call that done. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I sanded the handle down and uh, I'm not sure what kind of material this is. I think it's some kind of composite material. It feels like wood, it looks like wood. It even sands like wood, but I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, I'm not sure what it is. It might be walnut. I don't, I'm not sure even I don't know but uh, it's got wood grain in it and it chips like wood but it sure doesn't doesn't act like wood but anyway so it's all sanded it looks pretty nice um, the only thing I'm going to do now is put a coat of linseed oil on this thing which you guys have seen me do a million times so I'll go ahead and do that and then uh, last thing we're going to do is just resharpen this thing and it's all done so when I do the linseed oil, all I do is I take a can of linseed oil and I uh, pour a little bit in my hand, about yay much, and it uh, doesn't take a lot. Try not to spill the can. And then I just take the uh, handle and I just start rubbing it on the handle. And I rub it in until it uh, gets a good coat on it. Try to work it in real good. And, uh, you know, once it gets worked in real good, you'll have a really nice coat of oil on here. And, you know, and since I got it, I, I usually go ahead and put some on the blade too. 
it doesn't hurt it. It'll keep it from rusting. So, okay. So let me go ahead and finish this up and then we'll just give it a quick sharpening. Okay guys, so linseed oil's sitting there. It's all soaked in. Looks pretty good. I'm thinking this might be walnut on here. Um, it's a really dark wood, whatever it is. Um, this blade is pretty dang sharp as it is. So I'm just going to take my ceramic rod here and just slowly touch it up. Just a little bit at a time. And I'm going to sit here and work on this for a few minutes. And uh, when I get sharp to the point to where I want you guys to come back, I'll uh, show you how, I'm, how it ended up. But you, know, you just slowly work your way down it. And uh, like I said, it's... It's pretty dang close right now. I mean, it's probably almost shaving sharp right now. So uh, let me work on that, and then I'll just show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay. Okay, guys. So it's uh, I got it almost shaving sharp with the uh, ceramic rod. So the last thing I'm gonna do is take a piece of leather. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, strop it again for a while, and uh, we'll uh, work on that here. And uh, once you get it stropped, it should be about where you want it. And when I strop, and I've gone over this a few times, this is your cutting edge. So you want to you want to actually run it away from the leather, like so. If you run your cutting edge into the leather, you'll cut your leather every time. So you just want to keep stropping it back and forth and back and forth until you get it oh, about as sharp as you want it. And I just keep doing this until I uh, get it where I want it. And every once in a while I'll check it and see where we're at. So let me go ahead and do this for a few minutes and uh, we'll see where we're at. Okay guys, so this, this knife is done. I've, I strapped it and right now it is... Uh, shaving sharp. And it takes a good, good old chunk of hair off there. Can't really see it, but it's there. So uh, it's about where I want it now. So uh, there you go. I um, can't remember what I said that that I bought this for, but I'm sure, pretty sure I did it at the beginning of the video. But there you go. It's another good bushcraft knife. It's got a nice eighth-inch blade on it, high carbon steel. Struck it with a piece of flint, and it throws nice big old sparks. So. There you go, dull purpose too. And uh, all done. And it'll make a good bushcraft knife. So uh, we're going to chalk this up as done. I'll probably make a sheath for it, but I'm not going to do that on video. So uh, I'm going to quit here and say thank you guys. And if you like the video, I like you could uh, like it, subscribe, share. I'm, I'm looking for lots of subscribers. So. Uh, and I do all kinds of videos like this. So if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. Um, anyways, thank you guys.